Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 31 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is about sources of magnetic fields. There, this is a very typical application about Ampere's law. We can see we have a core axis cable consists of a solid inner conductor and the outer conductor, right? So there, the keyword conductor tells us the current is uniformly distributed. Agree? Therefore, we can write down the current density for inner part and outer part by using the current divided by the cross-sectional areas. So for inner part, this is I know divided by pi r1 squared, right? For outer part, we can consume, think this is in the opposite direction. So that we give it a negative size, say this is negative direction, and then the I know divided by pi times the cross-sectional areas for this outer part, right? Now, uh, the first case, we consider R is smaller than R1. So R smaller than R1, we can draw an enclosed path. Look like this one, right? Now, as Ampere's law tells us, we can think the B times the path. So enclosed the path 2 pi R and equal to mu naught and the corner enclosed. The so corner enclosed can use the corner density times its uh, uh, cross sectional errors pi r squared input is the inner, uh, inner current density. So we can reorganize it, simplify it, get the function look like this one. The second part we can consider the so r is larger than r1, smaller than r2. Similarly, we can draw a enclosed path look like this one, right? And then we can say B times this pass 2 pi R equal, equals the mu naught times enclosed. And then this enclosed is just I naught, right? Just I naught. And then you reorganize it, you get it there. The next one tells us we need to consider the region R2 larger than R2, smaller than R3, so it is there. We can draw the enclosed pass. This one, right? Yes. And then we can say the it is the magnetic field times its enclosed path 2 pi r and equal to first pi the current, we should consider the inner cable, right? This is a mu naught i. You can use the inner density times the pi r squared, right there. And then the outer cable. So outer cable, we can say is the current density uh, out times the cross-sectional error. So this is a R minus R squared minus R2 squared, right? And then you input the outer part current density and reorganize it, you get the answer is there. The next one, the R is larger than R3, so this one. We draw the enclosed path so the B times enclosed pass 2 pi R should equal to 0. Because we say this is out, this is in, they are at opposite direction. When we add them together, it's 0. So make B equal to 0. The E is give us the numbers about I0, R1, R2, R3, and then we need to put plot graph for B with R, right? So this one, you can see you just write down the function for B in different cases from the A, B, C, D, right, right it is there, and you can input the given quantities. You can see, for first one, it's a linear relationship, so linear relationship at there, right? And then for B, you can see it is 1 over R, right? Almost a constant over R, so look like the curve, like this one. And then for R is larger than R2 and R3, so the function looking like this one, finally it is 0. Thank you.